we, we explain to these yeah. youngsters. We always say, keep what works good for you. Yeah. Don't change. Uh, they just away from their food, their diet, they yeah. eat normal. No, 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 no. We are... It's 90% there? Yes, it's, I wouldn't say 90%, 80% yeah. there. Arkadaşlar tekrardan selam. Kamal Algagne yanımda. Mr. Olympia şampiyonu geçen senenin 212. Az önce bir idman yaptık. Sağ olsun kendisi çok çok nazik, çok sevecen birisi. Soru cevap da yapacağız birlikte. Ben bayağı bir sorular hazırladım. Sizin de sordunuz. Hey man, thank you for coming and thank you for your kindness. No, thanks to you guys. Really made me feel very welcome here in Turkey. You're always as, more than as, welcome. Yeah, man. as every time I come here, like especially like to be two years in the row. Yeah. I do my prep because of the pandemic, like since I can't fly from England to, to the US. Yeah. So I have to come to Turkey for two weeks. So I mean, it's a holiday for you as well. Well, it's not really a holiday, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's You're about my training. To... But these guys really, I mean, uh, Baresh and Ozdin and all the team, to be honest, they looked after me very well. They yeah. gave, made the gist gym like it's open for me. So thank I mean, you guys. I, I, I've been watching you. We are all watching you and your um, your success and everything. You're just so kind and you're open-minded and I really like that about you, man. Thank you so much. I mean, this is this is our sport. This is bodybuilding. We should be like, we have to give time to our um, fans. We have to give time for everybody that needed us, like yeah. any information that we know because we've been since like three, 30 years now I've been doing this. So I'll be I'll be so bad if I don't really yeah. tell my fans and the lover of bodybuilding if if I don't tell them what I ne learned and what I knew from yeah. bodybuilding so but uh, it's also about the personality man I mean, some, I mean some bodybuilders some people they get big but their ego gets big but the truth the truth is you get big you should get small the ego should get yeah, small no 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 get, I mean yeah. this is this is like not just bodybuilders they get yeah, that as a, as a human yeah. <laughs> yeah all the humans all businessmen they sometimes yeah. they don't have anything and then when you get some money they will be like so ignorant and they all that. Where to go. So yeah, but don't because people they say bodybuilders when they get muscle. No, they no, get, no. Yeah. That's, it's just, it's that's it's everybody. <laughs> that's, that's everybody. Yeah. That's a human being. But yeah. uh, yes, you get some bodybuilders, which is that hopefully they are not true bodybuilders. Yeah. They're true bodybuilders. Right. They give time to their um, they're fans. They are kind yeah. to their lovers. So we hope we never change. We're always gonna yeah, be man. like this. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a few questions. It's from me, also from my followers. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the first one. What is the difference between IFBB Pro League and Amateur League? What do they do different? Like, what do you do in your prep other than the amateurs? Well, I mean, I think um, as a pro, it's name pro, professional. You have to be professional, everything. You have to be professional with everything you do in your life. Yeah. This is your profession. This is your life. Yeah. So the amateur, I don't think that they cannot put everything into it. 24-7, we are on it every day. Since we wake up, we're thinking about breakfast, about cardio, about my second meal, my third meal, training, How whatever. Gonna, yeah. All day, we're thinking about bodybuilding, old plans set up. For amateur, they don't take it that serious, maybe. For example, okay, you have a prep, and during the prep, uh, you're thinking this way. What about after the contest? I mean, you won the contest and you don't have a con competition for a while. Are you still in that mood or you're just giving yourself a bit of rest? Yes, and yes. You, you, you will have a bit of rest, but it's not 100% like, yeah. not like the amateurs. They're completely okay. off. They yeah. don't train. Uh, they just away from their food, their diet, they yeah. eat normal. No, 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 no. We it's are. Is 90% 90 there? Yes. It's, I wouldn't say 90%, 80% yeah. there. We pack up a little bit. We rest. It depends if we don't have like competition within four, five, six months. So we, we pack up even like for me, myself, I'm talking, I'll have to do all my ACT, whatever. So I stop taking all this gear and everything. Yeah. I need to give my system a rest and then I prep again. But I will keep my cardio. Actually, I will do, do, be doing more cardio. I'll eat clean. It's just a, like a break, little break for you, but yeah. it's always in your mind, of course. It's just staying at the back, but you give priority to the other, to other things for yeah. a while. Yeah, but it's still, we have to be, in shape we yeah. have to eat good as professional during your contest prep how many calories do you consume a day or in other way like how many meals do you eat every yeah day? We, we as a bodybuilders we never count calories and we follow our shape yeah. day by day yeah. so for but, example if we need more carb we add more carbs we need less carb with less yeah. carbs so but i mean but as a calories like because when you say calories you could have like a thousand calories from like yeah, uh, a chocolate bar. But yeah. I, I, I meant uh, clean, cal clean calories. I mean, for example, yeah. My, my meals are basic, between 35 and 45 grams of carbs. Okay. And my, my actually protein will be like from 40 to 50. So protein. And how many is meals? 
uh, will be six meals a day. One of them or two of them uh, is going to be protein shake. After, especially okay. that after training, that's going to be shake or between meals, between breakfast and lunch, that will be probably a shake. Do you do test, allergy test, what in, to which food your allergic, your body is allergic to, or something like that? Mm, no, I, I've never had any issues with any food, to be honest. Okay, okay. It's, it's a different kind of question. Can you tell me one thing that really gets you angry inside the gym? I mean, it can be someone doing deadlifts with 10 plates each, and then they're screaming like crazy. Okay, we just trained chest now. <laughs> you seen one of the lads, they drop yeah. in weights. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, hate yeah. that. I really, really annoys me, and I lose my focus in, on training. If somebody yeah. does deadlift as well, Bang! Because that's they disrespectful. Bang, I yeah, mean, they bang in weights as well. I really hate it. I don't allow that in my gym. Then what happened upstairs now, if that was my gym, that whatever you, was done, you, it would be out straight yeah, away. Yeah, I, you need to come to the gym. This is our life. This is what we become famous from. Yeah. This place is a gym. So you need to respect this place. Exactly. Because yeah. the bodybuilding, the gym uh, weights and whatever what we do in our life, this is who made us. Yeah, bodybuilding, yeah, who yeah, made us. Exactly. So yeah. you need to respect it. Do you think that people who are competing have different kind of a mindset than the others. I mean, it's not in everyone's blood to be this much dedicated. I'm not talking about just bodybuilders, I'm talking about... General. General, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm it's not, it's not. As, as you see, like, there is so many on the market, but it's not many that top. But no. Because they have a different... Okay, yeah. 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 Some people, they got really like, um, they could give up very easy because yeah. what we do is not easy. Yeah, yeah. To be dieting like for six months, eating the same food. That's, that's the hardest thing, man. Exactly. It is the hardest. Some people, they couldn't do it. Yeah. They would be cheating. Yeah. Some people, they wouldn't really train hard. If you don't suffer, the, you're, you're not going to look wrong. Good. I think like we are in mindset of like trying to prove ourselves that we can do better than this. We can do better than this. I mean, yes. we have this kind of a mindset. This is the question. Are you still trying new methods like before the competition? Okay, let's try this one now. Let's see if I will look better. You have found it. You know that what's best for you and you exactly. just keep going. We always say, keep what works good for you. Yeah. Don't change. You change at the off season or whatever, but if you're looking good and you're improving, why you change it? Okay, this is a different kind of question as well. Would you rather be office worker mindset, like going to the work, coming back home, and live for 75 years, or be in this mindset and live for, let's say, 15 years, like 60 years old? I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say I would be at the office working at the office, or whatever. I like to be active. I yeah. like to be outside. Yeah. Like even children, 15 year old, 16 year old children. They are just going to their gym and then the trainers there and everyone, they're just writing down, okay, you should use this one. This one, they don't even tell them that it's steroid. Like they don't even tell the side effects. It's just a normal routine now. So they're using and then three, four months, five months, they're getting bigger. And then some of them, they have problems. Some of them, they're losing all their gains because it's just water. I mean, they're not uh, eating well and everything. What do you think about the situation? I don't, I don't like this because they don't even know what's all about. They talk yeah. about this. They don't tell them like what you said was the side effect. Uh, I mean, come on, 15 years old, 16 come years on, old, yeah. they just started. They are still full of testosterone. Yeah. So you don't show them that way. They need to train at they least playing with their two, life, three years. Know? Yes, two, two, three years to get the maximum natural. And then if they want to follow to be a competition, too. you need to have a reason to exactly, do that. Exactly, exactly. And then sometimes you, your shape, your, your actually physique, you're not going to make it. Even if you're drinking it, you're not going to yeah, make it. Exactly. Just yeah. train smart look healthy, use natural, whatever natural supplement, whatever. So I'm really against this one. That's why we are do a lot of seminars. We explain about this kind of thing. Yeah. Hopefully next next year, uh, we, will, we will all be coming a few often here. We we explain to these yeah. young people. I have an uh, online coaching system and uh, my clients tell me, just sending me pictures. Uh, by the way, my trainer gave me this. He said, this one you can get big, this one you can burn fat. Uh, how to use this one? Uh, is it joke or what? Yeah, no? yeah, I'm afraid it is. If it's okay for you to answer this, for how long are you on cycle? And then like after the competition, do you immediately cut the cycle or just uh, for one or two more months, you're just keep going with the cycle and training? Well, heavy, I mean, blah, blah, blah. I, mean, how, I, mean I prefer like when you take cycle, when you prep for a competition, would be six months. And then if you don't have any shows after or just one show a year, yes, you need to come off. Okay. You need to clean your system. You have to do blood tests before and after you yeah. take anything to make sure that's everything works normal in your in your in your system. Do you do PCT? Sure. Yes, of course. Really? I'm um, since the Olympia, I never took nothing, nothing. And I did actually yes, I did one one blood test in England when I was in England, and I did the blood test yesterday with Borash when I went there. So wow. I was like visiting the, the guys 
Well, what do you think about, uh, let's say I, I'm taking off and I use just, just testosterone, very low dosage. Do you count that also as off cycle? Off season, you take one shot maybe every 10 days. That's But okay. You, all right, man. Thank you so much. And hopefully, hopefully, so we'll, um, when I come back, inshallah, hopefully next year. Hopefully, we will year. see you before the Olympia. Yeah, and, hopefully, uh, I'll, I'll come back here because we, we, when we go, I go back to Libya, so this is our way. Yeah. So via Turkey. <laughs> so, so you will always come here give, anyway. Yes, always come here and then I'll see the guys I'll train here. Yeah, hopefully we'll do this more next year. We're going to be doing more like seminars. We talk and it's open, so yeah. we're going to be like for the public as well. Yeah, we wish everybody builder was like you, man. I mean, looking at life positive and smart, you know? Questions? Yeah, man. Thank you so yeah, much, man. Yeah, we do a baby more. Take no care, worries, brother. Man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, thanks, man. No I worries. swear.